In my last video, an AI who I've now named Galactus absolutely destroyed the sweet sweet galaxy, leaving us all in awe and perhaps a tiny bit fearful for our future as gamers. But this legendary game would certainly not be giving up that easily. Refusing to bow down, today our AI will be up against the game's final level, the center of the universe. The level has eight distinct sections, a labyrinth of challenges, putting the AI's ability to understand the game to the ultimate test. As we stand on the precipice of what could be either a great victory for AI or a humbling reminder of human ingenuity, we have to ask, can Galactus transcend its binary roots and conquer the center of the universe? Or will Super Mario Galaxy prove once and for all that some universes are meant for humans alone? It's time to turn my room into a programming cavern, chair prep for full lumbar support, and fire up the behemoth of a PC, because it's now time to make Galactus 2.0. So at its core, what exactly is Galactus? This AI uses the latest and greatest reinforcement learning algorithm, utilizing the immense power of neural networks and the deep learning revolution. Here's how it works. Galactus dives into the game, a bit like a kid in a candy store, eyes wide with the sheer possibility of rewards. But instead of gobbling up candy, it's calculating moves. It thinks, if I jump here, then dodge that fireball and run over there, what will my reward be? With every action, Galactus is placing bets, and with every game it plays, it's refining its strategy, learning to bet smarter. Thousands of games later, it's no longer just playing, it's mastering. All thanks to the nerds who sacrificed any chance of getting a girlfriend to invent the maths behind neural networks. As for what Galactus will be seeing, it perceives the game through a simplified image of the screen, devoid of color and made as small as possible, really just including the bare essentials. To control the game, think of it as Mario with a highly specialized, albeit restricted gamepad. I carefully selected just a few actions that I thought would be most useful and forced it to make do with those. Now, Galactus 2.0, much like any other AI, doesn't actually wake up with a burning passion for rescuing Peach or defeating Bowser. It's our job to instill that sense of purpose. Through a clever system of rewards and consequences, every action it takes is followed by feedback, a virtual pat on the back for success, or taking a beating when it strays off path. And trust me, designing these rewards is a delicate art. Get it wrong and Galactus won't be doing anything resembling playing Super Mario Galaxy. Luckily for us though, if I mess it up, the AI will just be playing some dodgy Mario. But going into the future where AI get more and more important jobs in the world, that's when things become a lot more, uh, terrifying. My first attempt at making these rewards went something like this. Firstly, I wanted to check if the AI was actually still alive and give it a negative reward if it wasn't. To do this, I looked in the game's RAM where a bunch of data about the game is stored, and after some digging, I was able to find the life counter and read it to the AI. Since Mario starts with four lives, all I need to do is check if the number of lives is less than four, and if it is, we give it a big old slap on the wrist and send it back to the start. The game also has a different type of life counter that you can see in the top right, where Mario loses lives for getting hit and stuff like that. So to encourage the AI to try and stay alive, I gave the little minus one reward for losing a life, or a plus one if it gained a life, which usually happens by getting a coin. Aside from staying alive, to actually make the AI progress through the level, we need to give the AI a shove in the right direction. After a bit of digging around the RAM again, I found a value which seemed to roughly indicate how far through the level that AI was, so I simply gave the AI a reward every time this value increased. So with this setup, I set the AI loose on the level and everything worked perfectly just as I was hoping. Just kidding, it broke horribly and the AI learned absolutely nothing. You see, while the value I found to give the AI rewards did roughly show progress through the level, turns out it wasn't particularly accurate for the first section of the course and actually gave a pretty good reward for going downwards, which the AI quickly exploited by ground pounding into the abyss. So to fix this, I decided I probably needed more than one value to track the AI's progress through the level, and instead broke the course down into smaller sections so the rewards could be a little more accurate. Once the value for each section reached a certain value, the AI would get a little bonus reward and then use a different value to track its progress. Armed with this slightly improved method, I sent the AI back to work and it failed again miserably. 
You can see even though the sections were a little smaller, the first section gave rewards for moving the AI in this kind of direction, which was accurate for most of the section, however it didn't work great for the very beginning. As you can see, the AI learned to run in the direction it was getting some reward for, however that had the minor side effect of death, so it didn't make for a great strategy. So then I went back to coding and decided to break the course down into even more sections, which gave the AI rewards for actually going in the right direction. So going along with the good old third time lucky superstition, the AI actually started to make some progress. In fact, quite a lot. It was able to complete the first section of the track in style, but sadly that was where the progress stopped. Earlier in the video, I mentioned that in order to check if the AI had died, I just checked how many lives it had. This worked pretty well, until the AI figured out it could get a 1-up. After getting the 1-up, even if the AI died, my code wouldn't reset the AI back to the start. This just completely crushed the program that was handling the rewards, since it really wasn't designed for this, so sadly, that was pretty much the end of that. I probably should have seen that problem coming, but at least it was pretty easy to fix, since I just had to check if the lives were lower than the highest they had reached. While I was messing around with the code, I also decided to give the AI a little plus one reward for getting a one up, since you know, I'm nice like that. So the fourth attempt was well underway, and this time it did make progress, just not quite as I'd hoped. You see, this fiery section is pretty difficult, requiring a fair bit of patience and finesse. AIs aren't exactly known for this though, instead they're more known for going with the easiest solution that even kind of works. The AI basically learned that staying on the platforms is hard, and instead, just jumping in the lava and bouncing in the right direction was good enough. Not wanting to give in to the AI's bad attitude, I decided to rewrite the reward, so that when the AI is in the OW I'm on fire mode, it wouldn't receive any rewards for making progress, and would also get some extra punishment. This meant that if Galactus wanted to get its sweet fix of rewards, it was going to have to do it the hard way. So going back for a fifth attempt, I set the AI loose on the level, again. Given how many times the AI had already needed restarting though, I really didn't want it to have to learn from the start again, since each of these attempts took a really long time to train. So instead of a hard reset, I booted up the same AI and just let it continue. I typically don't do this, since AIs never really seem to do as well when you mess around with their rewards midway through, but I really didn't want to have to retrain the egg crate again from the beginning, so off it goes. This time the AI made its way really far, finally getting through an entire section with no changes needed. However, don't get too excited, it only made it through one section. Next up was the desert section, and although the AI got about halfway through, when it reached this sidewards moving section, Galactus was completely stumped. Once again, the reward for this section was just really dodgy, giving the AI a load of random punishments even when it was going the right way. I spent an outrageously long time trying to find anything that worked, but pretty much all of the values I could find had something wrong with them. I ended up just throwing together a really janky solution that used a couple of little checkpoints along that strip, since this was a bit more reliable. Galactus actually got so stumped by this section, it would often just stand still in front of it, nihilistically staring into the lands it could never reach. So even though I had the new rewards in place, I also gave Galactus a right wallop thing if it didn't make any progress after quite a long period of time. Lastly, now that the AI was quite a way through the level, it was running into another problem. It took ages to get back to where it died. You see, the AI was still being sent all the way back to the start every time, meaning that it spent most of its time going through parts of the level it had already mastered, and basically no time on the parts it was trying to learn how to do. To fix this, I just gave it a random chance of spawning in a few different locations, meaning it could spend more of its time where it most needed it. So after taking the same AI and letting it continue to train with the new and improved rewards, the AI was blitzing through the level and was even able to make it to the final section, the lava tunnel. Whilst this section was hard, it was definitely no match for my programming skills. Lol, just kidding again, the AI failed catastrophically. You see, no one likes burning themselves, and since earlier on we stopped the AI getting any reward while it was on fire, this meant that this section was Galactus's worst nightmare. When it tried this section, it quickly learned that attempting this section was really bad, so it came up a way around it. You see, if it went through the fire, it lost reward every time it touched the fire, and again while it was getting burned, and then got a massive slap in the face when it eventually died. Galactus quickly realised there was no point in suffering any more than necessary, and just jumped into the nearest black hole it could find to get things over with. 
This meant Galactus wasn't even trying to explore the new section, which was a real problem. So I added a little extra case in, that if the AI fell off the map in this position, it got a punishment way worse, meaning the fiery tunnel looked a lot more enticing. Anyway, after all of this, the end was finally in sight. But since I'd restarted Galactus so many times at this point, it was starting to get rather old and fraggle, struggling to learn the newfangled strategies that the kid AIs were using. For this reason, I decided to lay Galactus to the rest, and I set its successor, Galactus Reborn, onto the task. After weeks of programming, re-rewarding, punishing, and many, many tears on my part, I set Galactus Reborn on the ultimate journey. So grab some popcorn, adjust your head cushion accordingly, and let's watch the final showdown.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see AI learning a load of other games, be sure to check out these videos around here, and I hope to see you again in the next one.